Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, attended the second edition of the Saudi Arabia Dara'iya e pre held in Riyadh. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the success of the second edition of the Dara'iya e pre. His Royal Highness highlighted that the region has an extensive motorsport fan base and as a host of prestigious races is a leading destination in the international motorsports calendar. His Royal Highness went down to commend Saudi Arabia for its role in advancing the motorsport industry in the Middle East. On this note, His Royal Highness expressed pleasure in attending the first race of the sixth season of the Formula or the Formula E Championship, noting the unique historical features of the Dara'iya circuit, making for a challenging racetrack and exciting races, which entertain sporting fans around the world. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by praising Bahrain's Formula One marshals who have successfully provided on-the-ground support to many regional and international motorsport events. In this regard, he highlighted the joint efforts between the Bahrain Motor Federation and the Saudi Automobile and Motorcycle Federation ahead of and during the 2019-2020 Formula E Championship season. The Crown Prince noted this collaborative relationship is a further example of the close cooperation between the two kingdoms across various sectors. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the race. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, as well as honorary president of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation brief. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized the president of the federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to award the winner of the horse race, Naif Al Blushi, in the opening endurance 120 kilometer race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad was keen on attending the event and following the tournament, including the, its preparations stages and his presence has had a great impact on the morale and the competitive spirit of the horsemen. His Highness affirmed that the opening stage of the tournament witnessed great success thanks to the determination of the horsemen who are keen on performing at their highest level. His Highness affirmed that the winners of the race have won deservedly, especially towards the end of the race when the first place winner managed to overtake a competitor. His Highness also hailed the efforts of the events organizers and all of the committees that were involved in the preparations and said that such efforts demonstrate their keenness on representing brief in the best possible way. His Highness followed the race in the company of the President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah, as well as the Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keen interest in the tournament, which said has raised the level of the competition among all horsemen. His Highness said that the successful organizing efforts is an incentive for further successes in the future, which will in turn make future races all the more exciting.
In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the chairman of the board of directors of the Saudi Equestrian Club, His Royal Highness Prince Bandar bin Khalid Al Faisal Al Saud, and the president of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the first international Bahrain Cup for horse racing was held with the participation of owners, riders, and horses from international stables. The race was also attended by a number of their Highness's senior officials, sponsors, and fans. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman presented a trophy to the winner Stefan Backsquare, then honored Robert de Haflin and Lee Newman, who won second and third places respectively. Then the chairman of the Batidko Board of Directors, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, presented the third round cup to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa and the fourth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid and the fifth round to be to the winning owner, Abdul Hadi Al Baqali. Then corporate communications manager at Bobco. Nawaf Al Ghanim presented the first round cup to the winning owner Ibrahim Al Afu. The new or the second round cup for Alan Smith and the sixth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa to open the IISS forum. The Deputy Premier expressed his delight at being delegated by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to inaugurate this important international security conference which convenes in Bahrain for the 15th time. He underscored the importance of the conference which brings together ministers, political and security experts, academics and military figures to discuss and exchange ideas and visions regarding the impact of international and regional developments that affect dangerously countries' security and stability and curb their development and progress and the future of their people. He noted that security is the basis of development which the international community and relevant international organizations seek to strengthen internationally and regionally towers, creating a fertile ground for the continuation of development paths in all countries of the world. He said that the IISS Manama Dialogue has established itself as one of the key conferences that raise issues and issues related to international peace and security, which contributed to overcome many challenges and promote stability in the region, and thus continue to achieve the sustainable development goals of their countries. He commended the level of participation at the Manama Dialogue, which reflects the importance of this defense and security forum in maintaining security and stability in the region through its views and insight and its interest in security as a fundamental pillar for achieving sustainable development. He re reiterated Bahrain's resolve to spare no effort in any alliance that will enhance regional and international security and stability, which is evidenced by its continuous initiative and joining all alliances aimed at uh, defending the right and combating terrorism and extremism. He cited in this regard Bahrain's presence in the International Coalition Against Terrorism and the Saudi-led Arab Coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, in addition to its joint uh, work with brotherly and friendly countries to secure the international corridors of trade energy and freedom of navigation in the region. The Deputy Premier expressed his hope that the sessions of this dialogue will contribute to the establishment of a sophisticated security base that contributes to the resolution of conflicts and wars and the fight against terrorism and extremism in all its forms. He thanked IISS Director General and Chief Executive Dr. John Shipman and his assistant for their efforts in preparing for this security and political meeting to ensure its success. Dr. Shipman addressed the opening ceremony highlighting regional challenges and the importance of international cooperation to combat terrorism and extremism by uniting efforts to confront extremist ideologies which represent one of the biggest challenges facing the world and its people. The uh, Manama Dialogue is one of the more important gatherings in the world with regards to discussing the security and political situation in the region as well as in the world. It's a great forum to uh, uh, highlight the challenges that the region faces and to uh, propose suggestions for how to deal with those challenges. And it's always an opportunity for people to exchange ideas and to come up with ways to resolve these challenges. Our region today is witnessing the greatest challenge, which is Iran's interference in the affairs of our countries. It's uh, the uh, extremism and terrorism. It's the support, the Iran's support for uh, b providing ballistic missiles to terrorist organizations. It's uh, issues such as uh, developmental challenges and trying to improve the uh, conditions of our people. Well, well, this is an ideal place uh, to uh, have discussion, fruitful discussion about peace and security, uh, of course in the area, but more globally, because uh, um, security in the Gulf uh, is also uh, uh, um, an international uh, question and an, an international stake. So this morning we had uh, great discussions uh, about uh, the current issues here. Conferences like that, dialogues like that, are supposed to bring together several points of view. Therefore, the, uh, the officials, the think tanks, universities, etc., will be aware that when you touch this issue, there are one, two, three, four uh, uh, points of view and you should take that into consideration. And those who feel strongly about certain point of view can promote it in the universities, in the uh, media, etc. The Manama Dialogue is important because it is only the only genuine international transnational forum to look at Gulf security. There have been many meetings uh, in the Gulf, there are meetings in the United States, there are meetings in uh, Europe, there are meetings in Asia, but here in Manama, we have the capital of thought leadership and of diplomatic work 
on Gulf security, but involving all the stakeholders in Europe, uh, in North America, in the Asia Pacific, and increasingly from Africa. So I think the capacity of Manama to host uh, leaders from all this part of the world is a key ingredient to 15 years of success of the Manama Dialogue. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawzi Ibn Abdullah Zainal has described the IIS as Manama Dialogue, which is hosted by Bahrain for the 15th consecutive year, as a milestone for regional development, security and stability. She noted that the forum is a vital platform to exchange views, discuss issues and map out solutions to various challenges. The Representatives Council Speaker praised the wisdom of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Kingdom's achievements in light of the Comprehensive Development March. She also affirmed a keenness to boost cooperation and coordination with brotherly and friendly countries to continue achieving the sustainable development goals promoting regional stability and fostering global security and peace. She noted that the Manama Dialogue is considered as one of the most significant security and political conferences to achieve forecast peace and confront dangers and challenges through an integrated vision and high coordination. The Representatives Council Speaker thanked the organizers of the conference, stressing the Council's support to all efforts aimed at promoting growth, security security and stability in the region and the world. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh affirmed that the IIS as Manama Dialogue is an international event which contributes to the study of security challenges and obstacles faced by various countries. In addition to the role of the forum in developing mechanisms to enhance the stability and protection of countries and to emphasize their sovereignty, praising the success achieved by Bahrain in hosting it. He pointed out that Bahrain's success in hosting the Manama Dialogue reflects His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's approach to the importance of dialogue and its role in the progress and prosperity of societies, noting that dialogue is the most effective method to reach common rules and foundations that can be used to bring security and stability to people and nations. He also praised the support of His Majesty the King and the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the Manama Dialogue. The Shura Council said that the Manama Dialogue has witnessed successes and excellence during the past years through its topics and issues which are of great importance to countries and people, in addition to attracting senior officials, decision makers and military, security and political leaders from different countries as they contribute to enrich the dialogues and discussions in the conference sessions. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the United States Deputy Secretary of Treasury Justin Muznich. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Minister welcomed the visit of the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Treasury to participate in the 15th Security Summit Manama Dialogue, which is held annually and brings together political, military and academic leaders from around the world. During the meeting, they reviewed the distinguished bilateral relations linking Bahrain and the U.S means of enhancing cooperation and coordination in the interests of the two friendly countries. They also discussed the efforts exerted in the field of combating the financing of terrorism and money laundering. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the Directorate General of Information and Security Culture and the Security Attaché at the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received a UK delegation led by Alan Duncan in the presence of the Bahrain Ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and uh, Chief of uh, Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The Minister welcomed the delegation's participation in the Manama Dialogue, affirming the importance of the event in discussing important topics regarding facing challenges and enhancing regional security and stability. He affirmed the delegation on, uh, he briefed the delegation on the work of the ministry in ensuring the safety of citizens and residents. He also praised the relations between the two countries and discussed a number of topics of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the General Directorate of Information and Security Culture and Director of the Joint Center for Combating Terrorism at the Ministry of Interior.
The Interior Minister also met uh, with Ambassador Barbara Lev, the Director of the Arab Policy Program at the Washington Institute for the Middle East Policy in the U.S. In the presence of the Ambassador of Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Chief of the Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The Minister welcomed the Ambassador's participation in the Manama Dialogue and praised the relations between the two countries, stressing the importance of further strengthening these relations to overcome all regional and international challenges. He praised the bilateral strategic relations and discussed a number of topics of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the General Directorate of Information, Security, Culture and Director of the Joint Center for Combating Terrorism at the Ministry of Interior and Security Attaché at the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States. The Minister of Interior also received a retired Lieutenant General of the United States Army and Commanding General of the United States Army Central, James Terry, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and Public Security Chief Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The Minister welcomed De Wolf, who is visiting the Kingdom, to participate in Manama Dialogue, which stresses or discusses the most press pressing challenges in the Middle East. He highlighted the most important topics and issues that will be discussed in Manama Dialogue which enhance joint action and regional security in the Gulf region and works to protect maritime lines. The minister praised the U.S. participation in the Strategic Security Summit, which is held annually in Bahrain. It, he also pointed out that the importance of presenting insight and security studies as part of efforts to promote world peace. They discussed aspects of cooperation and ways of developing them, in addition to a number of issues of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the Information and Security Culture Director, the Director of the Joint Center for Combating Terrorism Center at the Ministry of Interior and the Security Attaché at the Bahrain Embassy in the U.S. The Interior Minister received a high-level delegation from the U.S. Department of State comprising of the Deputy White House National Security Advisor for the Middle East and North Africa, Dr. Victoria Coates, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Conflict and Stability Operations, Dr. Dennis Natalie, and Senior Advisors of Office of Political Planning, Dr. Peter Burkitz, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sabral, and a Public Security Chief Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The minister hailed the close relations and strategic partnerships between Bahrain and the U.S., which contributes to reinforcing regional security and protecting international peace and security. He noted the importance of continued cooperation and exchange of expertise in the field of joint security action to face security challenges on the regional and international arenas. They reviewed the course of distinguished bilateral relations and ways of enhancing security cooperation to serve the interests of the two friendly countries and discussed a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Director General of the Information and Security Culture Directorate, the Director of the Joint Center for Combating Terrorism Center at the Ministry of Interior and the Security Attaché at the Bahraini Embassy in the U.S. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stressed the role of the Gulf Cooperation Council states, Egypt and Jordan, in ensuring the stability and the security of the region through the efforts they exert in facing the challenges and their endeavors to provide solutions for issues. The Minister also underlined in his speech before the Manama Dialogue in this 15th edition that the crucial strategic value of the region at various political, security and economic levels necessitates the responsible or the responsible countries in the world to cooperate with the region's countries in maintaining regional peace and security. He also pointed out that this cooperation and collective action is a prerequisite for the success of any coalition or regional grouping. The minister affirmed that Iran remains a major threat targeting the region's security and stability by continuing its support to terrorism and terrorist militias such as Hezbollah and others, as well as its expansionist policies, its violations of international law and its attack on an oil refinery installation in Saudi Arabia and the commercial ships in the Sea of Oman. He added that in addition to that, Iran also threatens maritime safety and security and tries to undermine the efforts exerted by our countries for the benefit for the region of the region and the region's countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also called upon the international community to exert further efforts to deter Iran and stop its interference in the internal affairs of the region's uh, countries and to respect their sovereignty and independence, noting that the GCC have never and will never interfere in Iran's internal affairs. 
The minister also called for international stance towers Israel and its actions that violate international laws and resolutions, including the settle settlement and its occupation of the Julan Heights. He also stressed that achieving a just and comprehensive peace is of benefit to the entire region. He added that such peace is only attainable by finding a solution for the Palestinian issue and ensuring the Palestinian people's rights and the establishment of an independent Palestinian state on the borders of the June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital, based on a two-state solution and in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative and relevant international resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the State Minister for Foreign Affairs of Japan, Kisuki Suzuki, on the sidelines of the 15th Manama Dialogue Summit. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs commended the constant development between Bahrain and Japan at all levels, thanks to the distinctive efforts of both countries to advance bilateral cooperation between the two friendly people. The Minister also hailed the pivotal role played by Japan, noting its tangible efforts for the security and stability of the region and to face the challenges that threaten its countries and people affirming the kingdom's support for these efforts. For his part, Mr. Suzuki expressed his utmost appreciation for the stances of the Kingdom of Bahrain in support of Japan, stressing that his country attaches great importance to the development of bilateral relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also noted his desire to expand bilateral relations, pointing out the Kingdom's development in all fields, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of State at the Federation's Foreign Office of Germany, Niels Annen, on the sidelines of the 15th Manama Dialogue Summit. The Minister welcomed Mr. Niles Annen and stressed that his participation in the Manama Dialogue reflects Germany's keenness on maintaining security and stability in the region and addresses the challenges faced in facing its countries. He also praised the distinguished friendly relations between both countries and their endeavors to develop bilateral cooperation in various levels. For his part, Mr. Annan expressed his pleasure in visiting Bahrain and participating in the Manama Dialogue, stressing the keenness of the Federal Republic of Germany to enhance relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain at all levels, noting the Kingdom's pivotal role in establishing peace and security in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Deputy Director General for Political Affairs and Security at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Italy, Mr. Luca Gori, on the sidelines of the 15th Manama Dialogue Summit. The Minister praised the friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Italy, which are constantly developing at all levels. He also stressed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields for the common interests of both countries. For his part, Mr. Luca Gori expressed his appreciation for the distinguished relations between the two countries, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Director General of Middle East at Global Affairs Canada, Sandra McCardell, on the sidelines of the 15th Manama Dialogue Summit. During the meeting, the Minister welcomed Sandra McCardell, expressing his satisfaction for the development of bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Canada. He also stressed the importance of mutual coordination and international forums regarding issues of common interest. For her part, McCardell expressed Canada's aspirations for enhancing and developing friendly development relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain. She also appreciated the efforts exerted by the Kingdom to establish security and stability in the region, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with Senator Chris Murphy, member of the Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee on Near East, South Asia, Central Asia, and Counterterrorism. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with Congressman Ted Dutch, a senior member of the House of Foreign Affairs Committee, and Congressman Joe Wilson, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, on the sidelines of the 15th Manama Dialogue Summit. During the meeting, the Minister welcomed the United States Senator and the two congressmen, expressing his appreciation for their participation at the Manama Dialogue Summit. He also stressed Bahrain's pride in its close strategic relations with the United States of America, which is based on the principles of mutual respect and trust and joint keenness to enhance bilateral work in several fields, as 
well as developing joint coordination on regional and international issues. For their part, the U.S. Senator and the Congressman expressed their pleasure to have uh, met uh, with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, praising the deep-rooted friendly relations between the two countries. They pointed out the Kingdom's policy of openness and communication with the world's nations in order to achieve regional security and stability. They also wish the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Deputy White House National Security Advisor for the Middle East and North Africa, Dr. Victoria Coates, on the sidelines of the 15th edition of Manama Dialogue. The minister praised the bilateral relations and the progress witnessed in various fields, especially the political, security and economic. He praised the bilateral coordination in solving various issues of common concern and praised the U.S. efforts in reinforcing the regional and international stability and its keenness to cooperate with its allies to overcome challenges. Dr. Coach praised the bilateral relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with Singapore's Senior Minister of State, Minister of Defense and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Maliki bin Uthman, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. The minister welcomed Dr. Maliki Uthman and highlighted the development of friendship ties between Bahrain and Singapore, which reflects the joint keenness to bolster bilateral cooperation for the benefit of both countries and people. He also expressed pride in Bahrain joining the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, which embodies the level of outstanding relations between Bahrain and ASEAN countries. For his part, Dr. Madiki Uthman expressed his country's pride in its close ties with the kingdom and his aspirations to bolster cooperation in all fields. The Foreign Affairs Minister then met with the Assistant Undersecretary for Political Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Sudan, Ambassador Ilham Ibrahim, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. The Foreign Minister reiterated Bahrain's firm stance towards Sudan and towers all the efforts of the Chairman of the Sovereignty Council of Sudan, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al burhan and Prime Minister Ahmed Abdullah Hamdok in ensuring the progress and prosperity of Sudan and its people. The Minister praised the bilateral relations and affirmed the kingdom's keenness to further bolster these relations in all fields. The ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's stances towards Sudan and its efforts to further enhance the security and stability of the country, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The minister also met with the ambassador of the Arab-China Cooperation Forum at the China Foreign Ministry, Li Qingwen. On the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue, the minister reviewed the course of ties between Bahrain and China and ways of further developing them in various fields. He expressed pride in China's efforts to strengthen relations in Arab countries for the benefit of all. For his part, the ambassador affirmed China's aspirations to develop joint cooperation with Bahrain and commended the role and efforts of the kingdom to establish peace and stability in the region, wishing the kingdom further their progress and prosperity. The Foreign Minister then met with the Deputy Foreign Minister of Thailand, uh, Wishwat uh, Isara Bakdi, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. He praised the bilateral relations and the progress witnessed in all fields. He expressed pride in his participation in the 35th ASEAN Mute Summit that was hosted in Thailand recently, affirming the, joint, the joining of Bahrain in the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia will push the bilateral relations further. Deputy Foreign Minister praised the relations between the two countries affirming Thailand's keenness to further bolster these relations in all fields. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the United States Deputy Secretary Treasury, Justin Muzanich, in the presence of the Bahrain Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sabral, at the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue 2019 event, which is organized by the IISS. The Minister of Finance affirmed that the bilateral relations have contributed to reinforcing mutually beneficial economic cooperation and affirmed the importance of ongoing efforts to maintain and further develop the bilateral relations. During the meeting, the latest developments in the world economy, as well as the ways in which the bilateral relations could be further developed, were discussed and points of views on these matters were exchanged.
The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the opening session of the Manama Dialogue Conference 2019, where he underlined the importance of the existing trade exchanges between the GCC and Asian countries, which was reinforced by Bahrain joining the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia recently. He stressed that it opened wider horizons for cooperation in all economic sectors to support, uh, to support the national economy and contribute to facilitating intra-regional trade that will have a positive impact on sustainable development in the region. He also stressed that the region's economy continues to grow positively despite various challenges facing it, relying on its components to simulate its uh, diverse sectors such as financial technology, tourism, finance, business and various other sectors that have become oriented to artificial intelligence, creativity and innovation. The minister affirmed the importance of uniting efforts to address the various challenges at the regional and international levels. The minister of finance expressed pride in hosting the 15th G20 leader summit in the region. He noted that Manama Dialogue provides an opportunity to discuss challenges, share experiences and strengthen international partnerships to support global economies and their various sectors. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Assistant Secretary of State and Head of the Middle East and North Africa Division Federal Department of Foreign Affairs of Switzerland. Maya Tisafi, where a convention and protocol for the elimination of a double taxation with respect to taxes on income and on capital and the prevention of tax evasion and avoidance was signed between the two countries. The minister affirmed that efforts to create an ideal environment for invest investment will continue and affirmed the importance of financial uh, conventions such as the one that has been signed in attracting foreign direct investment and in establishing sustainable development. The Bahrain Mobility International Organization commemorated its 40th anniversary of its establishment under the honorary president of the organization, Her Highness Sheikh Zain bint Khalid Al Khalifa, at the Officers Club at the Bahrain Defense Force. Her Highness Sheikh Zain opened the event, which was attended by various supporters of the organization, such as governmental offices, companies, banks, various establishments, and distinguished individuals, all of whom have contributed to the organization's four decades long service for those of special needs. Her Highness honored the supporters of the organization and opened the mobile museum that tells its story and discusses its objectives and effort to raise awareness among those with special needs to take advantage of the variety of services on offer, which include education, training, medical treatment, and rehabilitation. Her Highness expressed appreciation for the organization's, uh, or the organization's work in integrating those with special needs into society in coordination with various other parties and said that the history of the organization is full of achievements that include the realization of initiatives and strategic projects with the goal of offering the best possible services. Her Highness said uh, that the efforts of the organization are intended to contribute to the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Her Highness affirmed the keenness or the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in serving those with special needs in light of his directives to support them in the most urgent and efficient manner. For his part, the chairman of the organization's board of directors, Adil Mtawa, uh, praised the patronage of Her Highness for her constant support to ensure that the best services are provided. As the event concluded, Al Mtawa gave Her Highness a commemorative gift for her generous contributions over the years.